wonder if I can knock the camera over again. It's not, it's pretty stable where, nah, I ain't gonna be able to knock it over. Day to take the tops off. of it you know um, I personally from a distance would think that a lot of money goes into this car and it's it's not wrong but um you know I think some of it's overlooked I do put a lot of money into the car I'm always constantly doing something with it fixing something putting something new in but the reality of it is is that um, a lot of the parts for these vehicles in general um, just GM overall they're pretty cheap parts um, since I've gotten the car, some of the stuff I've done, tin doesn't really count. Um, tin, you know, could range anywhere from 150 to like $300 to get a whole car tinted. Um, radar detector is not really with the car. That was $150. Bucks. Um, the big stuff is obviously like drivetrain wise. Motor came with the car stock. Um, the transmission was built before I had the car. That was like three to four thousand dollars. Um, rear end is stock in the car still, but if I blow that up, it's gonna be another 500 to 800 dollars to replace, and get something a little bit better too. I wouldn't put a stock one back in. Um, a lot of the past videos though, I put in the steering rack and a lot of aftermarket parts, especially in the rear end, like the um, torsion bar and the panhard bar and the lower control arms. Uh, it was BMR, that was, I'd say, I think it was like 300 bucks. Um, and then I bought the lower control arms and the panhard bar all together. Oh, there's marks from what I did a burnout there earlier. <laughs> Watched it. If you didn't go watch it, um, 
I don't have the Corvette wheels on the back anymore because they were $300 a tire. So $600 every week or twice a week is kind of a lot. So um, I got the Steelys from my buddy, they're 15s. And I, uh, I just buy crap tires pretty much. I don't buy like ones that are all spanked already. Like I want to have some fun with them. So I get them with fair tread. But um, I just buy them Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist. Uh, lately I've been going to Galance salvage yard out in like um what town is that near pineland i don't know what that technically classifies as Pownell or not but um i get some through them i usually the, they have a deal where i can get four of them for a 100 bucks so i go there and for some reason the tires they give me last a really long time so if i put it you know if i buy four of them for a 100 bucks it'll last me probably three weeks to a month which is pretty good because before that I was going through tires every week. It was two a week. So, you know, I've already put in in the past few months pan art bar, torsion bar. Oh man, the steering rack alone. I did get the refund back since I got the wrong one, but I still spent $300 with all the shipping and everything. That was 300 bucks. Torque arms 300 bucks, that's 600 bucks. Um, rear about 200 bucks, yeah, about 800 bucks right there. Uh, the lower tint strip doesn't really count. I uh, had the sides tinted again, that was like 100 bucks. Um, but honestly, I, I haven't really done a lot with the car, like major things. I got the MSD2 step, that was 300 bucks. Um, so it's just a couple hundred dollars here and there, it's not really a lot but a lot of people seem to think that I'm just blowing like thousands of dollars on the car. I currently really couldn't do that anyways. I, you know, um, with the virus and everything, hours are cut pretty short, so I really don't actually work that much. So I work enough where I can pay everything, pay all the bills I gotta pay, get gas, you know, do what I gotta do and still have enough over left over to um, put some stuff in the car. But I'm currently at the point where doesn't really need anything major. There's some adjustments, adjustments that are needed in the back. Um, front end's still kind of messed up. I need another alignment, a few little things like that. Um, but I'm thinking next summer I'm gonna get the car repainted because that whole side is like six different shades of black and really dark gray. And you know, it's, it's hard to notice if I'm just driving around, but look at the car every time I wash it like it's pretty obvious and I don't, I don't really like it something kind of rattles over there too but again the way I drive it you know it's not the best yeah I didn't think that was gonna stay anyways um, it's pretty good on gas like I said so going back and forth to Mexico I'm in Mexico right now um, it's kind of good. I don't have to trailer it there to go do burnouts and crap, but you know, it's it's not really that expensive owning this car. I'd say it's about as much as anything else, if not less. Like the only difference between me beating on this and me beating on just like some cheap, not as fun car is the fact that this really holds up a lot better because it was built to do it. You know, I've had plenty of vehicles. I mean, my old truck, I went through a transmission two transfer cases and a rear end amongst a bunch of other stuff and you know I couldn't do nearly the stuff that I can do with this car because it didn't have as much power obviously it's a three-quarter ton truck but I mean this thing holds up pretty well for what I put it through it I don't think that it asks for any more than it really should I think if anything it I'm kind of surprised that more doesn't break on it but at this point Pretty much everything is replaced on the car from either previous owner or things I've done. So really all that is left is stock motor and stock rear end. So those are the only things I really got to plan for. And once those are done, the car is going to be set for a while. I mean, there's nothing else that has to be done on it, but pretty much just gas and tires, occasionally oil. 